Across the rainbow bridge of Asgard, where the booming heaven pour, you'll behold in breathless wonder the God of Thunder, mighty Thor. And we are back with everyone's favorite segment. What would Thor do? <laughs> All right, so I was digging around the internet this week and continuing our obsession with the Los Angeles Lakers, our love, the greatest team in the universe. Mm-hmm. You think they're just out on the court cashing a paycheck and trying to entertain you. Nobody gets to see what they're doing out in the Andromeda Galaxy or the Antares Maelstrom or, or the entire Jovian system. That's Jupiter and its moons for all of you non-science folk out there. Uh, the Lakers and the Globetrotters keep half this universe together. And Fact. which which is why when I saw this on the internet, it really really kind of bothered me. And he's asking us, I love LeBron, but I hate the Lakers. What do I do? And you know, since the first time that I brought this to your attention on Wednesday, I have heard a different person ask that question on a different podcast. So I feel like this question is really something that needs to be addressed here. Oh wow, this is something this is like a this is an epidemic. We're gonna see this in next year's textbooks. This is a Laker haterade epidemic, and this is not for the people who hate the Lakers because they're fans of other team like the Clippers or someone else in our division or the Boston Celtics. This is for people that just hate the Lakers to hate the Lakers for whatever BS reasons. If you hate the Lakers because you're a Boston fan, well, that's just the natural order of things. But anyway. Yeah, go get your own fucking podcast <laughs> all right and and loosely tie it to uh, some other superhero exactly so anyway for those people that just hate the lakers to hate the lakers which i assume that's what these two individuals are maybe for starters do exercises that mortals do to you know raise your mental and emotional health because clearly you have internet itis where you just want to hate on everything just to have something to talk about Inter- internet itis say that five times fast Internet itis, internet itis, internet itis, internet itis, internet itis. Yeah, there you go. See, that's what makes him a god in a comic book and a cool guy. Exactly. And, you know, really, overall, just get the stick out of your bum. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's that yeah. simple. Cause, it's your problem, not ours. Because the Lakers, with their, you know, movie star glitz and all that, may look fake if that's the perspective that you have. But <clears throat> you could also look at that fakeness and that larger than lifeness and not of this earthness as you know maybe there's just something to aspire to in your own life because everybody you know from magic to Shaq and kobe and kareem to now currently with lebron they're all incredibly confident but they also like to have fun except for kobe he did he wasn't really much on the fun part he was just i win because that's just how odin programmed me yeah, welcome, welcome to Loki speak, right? <laughs> will we, will we, will, will we rep Boston? <laughs> but you know, they they all work hard and they win. You know, Lamar Odom didn't go into his downward spiral until after he left the Lakers. You know, if that's just an example to help prove my point. So really, these big time Lakers and you know Showtime era, Shaq Kobe era, now LeBron era, whatever era you want to choose. It's really no, no different than, you know, the people that are in your favorite fictions and mythology throughout all of Midgard. Oh, yeah, no, people are just, uh, people are just afraid of L.A. It's, it's, they just want to hate, like, on the traffic and the smog and the people are just the worst. And it's like, fuck you. You've never been uh, further west than, I don't know, Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to you, that's like, yeah, I've traveled. Yeah, no, West Philadelphia, yo. Born and raised. Yeah, you're so full of shit. <laughs> you're so full of shit. LeBron and the Lakers is your future. Live from Los Angeles, it's the Magic Hour. Tonight, 1998 Playboy Planet of the Year, Karen McDougal. Hit us up. Hit us up. Uh, at our uh, Send us an email. At sexy Thor's Thunder Talk at Gmail. Gmail dot com. <laughs> sexy Thor's Thunder Talk. All one word, no apostrophe.
and find us on the social medias that I'll link you to in my outro. Oh, yeah, everybody, you got to get up on that. Uh, send us some hate mail on this. Tell us how fucking wrong we are, because we love it. Yeah, because that means you listen. <laughs>